Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl and this is Craftsmas episode four. We have a fun tutorial for you. Now what we're going to be doing is decorating these shadow boxes. Now it is already complete. I have recorded this intro one time before, but I lost it so we are reshooting this. Now this is the Riba frame from Ikea. They're $9.99. The balls that are in the background of the frame are the Halloween scatters and filler. They came from Hobby Lobby. They're $4.99, 40% off. I am also using the Purple Adhesive Oracal 651. You're also gonna need denatured alcohol to keep your, uh, well this isn't glass, but plastic that looks like glass clean. Transfer tape, squeegee, scissors, and your Easy Weedin' Wooden Pick. Now give me a moment and we'll get the camera angle changed so you can see everything that we are doing. So as you can see, I have my vinyl cut and I have mirrored it because I'm putting it on the inside of the frame. The nice thing about Oracal 651 is if you look, it is colored all the way through. So you can mirror it and put it on the inside of glass. So that way no one can pick at the outside. If you've got little kids, it makes it so much easier. Okay. Go ahead and weed all this which will just take a moment. And actually, these Riba frames are not glass, they are plastic, so it really doesn't matter. But I wanted to show you all a different method. And if you notice the squares in the corners, that is to make sure we line it up correctly on the leave behind her eye. On the edges of the glass, or plastic in this case. Okay. Just making sure her eye is positioned correctly. And you can do this for any holiday, and it's something that's cute that you can reuse over and over every year. There are a ton of cute files in that set that I really like. That's why I'm continuing to use it. Okay. So as you can see, everything is weeded. i get the sun stuck from my fingers, all these tiny little pieces. And the transfer tape I'm using for this one is actually an old piece, as you can tell. But you can reuse transfer tape. That's one of my favorite things to do. There is no point in wasting when you can reuse. Okay, as you can see, I'm squeegeeing it down really, really well. We're going to set that to the side and go ahead and open up this frame. only thing I don't like about these frames but what's nice about them is it doesn't it, they are sturdy enough where they will stand up on their own so we're gonna go ahead and remove all that take the center part out of it and then set it to the back now we're gonna take our plastic glass plexiglass I guess is what it's called 
and we're gonna spray it with some denitrogate alcohol to clean it off. Now we're gonna take and saturate it really well with the application fluid. All of the edges are covered. Now we're gonna take and slowly remove our paper backing off of our vinyl. Not off of our vinyl. Yeah, off of our vinyl. Making sure all of our little bats stay. I'm moving my plexiglass down to the edge of my table so that way it's easier to line up these bottom squares. Now we're going to take our squeegee and squeegee just the center part down. I'm not really concerned about squeegeeing the marks because I don't need those. I'm not leaving those on the design itself. And as you can see, I'm pushing nice and hard on this to squeegee out, squeegee out all the liquid. And you're going to want to remove your transfer tape nice and slowly to make sure everything's stuck down because whenever you have the liquid behind there, until it's completely dry, the vinyl is movable. That is part of the reason for using application fluid. So that way you have a chance to make sure everything is nice and centered before it's done. And if you just kind of roll your transfer tape, it makes it a little bit easier to control what is happening with it. And if you are looking for tutorials on how to cut the vinyl, I have tons in my adhesive playlist and in the Cricut and Silhouette on how to cut one color designs. Now since I've used application fluid on that, I would not reuse that piece of vinyl anymore. I mean transfer tape. But these are quick, easy, cheap designs for the holiday season. So we want to make sure we keep these videos nice and short and easy to comprehend. And what I'm doing right here is just squeegeeing down those sharp points on the E's because when I wiped, they lifted. OK. 
Okay. So that's what it looks like from the reverse. Now let's go ahead and remove the clear plastic protecting the front. There we go. Now we're going to take and lay that portion back in our frame. Put the center part back in. which likes to catch on these little metal hook thingies. There we go. Now we're going to open up the balls and drop them in. Which it doesn't look like I needed all three bags, but I'll use them for another project. Okay, so now we're going to place the backing back on here. Close this up and there you go. Look how cute that turned out. It is just a nice cute little Happy Halloween shadow box that you could easily change this design for any holiday. Remember if you like this video give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the little notification bell icon next to it that will notify you when we post new videos which is every day during Christmas which runs from October the 1st all the way through December the 21st. Other than that don't forget to check me out on all my social medias Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. So thanks and y'all have a great day.